You know, there's people you get attached to and others you don't. Right. And you were someone I got attached to. <laughs> and now we're cooking in the kitchen together. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, <laughs> na 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 Hey, welcome to my kitchen again, and I have a guest with me. A little surprise for you guys. Hi! Oh, it was hard hiding there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited that we're actually doing this. I know we talked about it. We both love to eat. Love and to our cook. best conversations is when we're eating. We're talking about food. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna bring us some Brazilian flavor to the kitchen. Yes, I am Brazilian. I am from the state of Minas Gerais, where the Brazilian cheese bread comes from. Cheese bread for me, it's basically like, you know, like drinking milk when you're young. Right. Because it's so much like part of my culture. I grew up eating it and it's like, I remember, I have so many memories of like my grandmother making cheese bread and the smell of it. You're gonna smell it like what, when it's in the oven. Even the dough, it smells so good. And that smell, and when I'm eating it, just brings me back to so many like good memories. Oh eating God. it with my family, with my friends, it's just part of our culture and it's just such a good bread. And it's gluten free. So that's a great part of the cheese bread. You make the dough, uh, I'll show you guys when I'm doing it. So you do all the little balls and you can freeze it and you can have it in your freezer for months. The times when you eat cheese bread. So in Brazil we eat it in the morning. It's like a very, very traditional thing to have in your table in the morning. So it's great with coffee, black coffee. Yeah. Uh, but also you can have it with your meal um, and in the afternoon as well with tea or coffee in the afternoon. So it's, uh, I think it's you know something you can eat all day, day, I guess. And do you suggest wearing Jonathan Simkai dress when you're making the cheese bread? Because you look For so sure, beautiful. especially this mint one. I'm so dressed <laughs> up to cook. I've never been so dressed up in the kitchen, but I'm loving this. I'm loving it too. <laughs> I love this dress. I should show it for what you guys. I'm obsessed. I'm gonna cook in this every day at home now. So let's get started. Yes, let's do this. I'm excited. So you brought this amazing uh, Guarana soda. Yes. Thank so, you so much for bringing this. I hope you like it. It's very traditional as well. So Guarana is an exotic fruit from Brazil. You can only find it in Amazon. Let me get us glasses. Hold okay. on. So it's fruity. It's yummy and also reminds me so much of Brazil, so I always have it at home. Oh, it's energetic. Yeah, a little bit. Not as much as like an energy drink, but it gives you a little, a little bit of something. Yeah. So this Cheers. is perfect to cook with. We'll yes. Speeding the kitchen. Always. Better than wine. <laughs> Ooh, that's delicious. I know, right? Oh. It should be sponsored by Guarana. We should. <laughs> we can pitch them. <laughs> yes, and we have ice in our Guarana, and yeah. we are good. Now we can start cooking. Yes. So, um, the ingredients. So we're gonna need milk, vegetable oil, salt, and water. Mozzarella cheese. Most important. Yucca flour, and eggs. So this is the brand that you use for the yucca flour? So this is, you can usually find this at Brazilian markets, but I also, I just found out that you can find this on Amazon. Oh, so easy so enough, Amazon Prime, two days max. Everyone can get this. <laughs> and it's like much healthier, you know, that's why it's gluten free. It's made from yucca, which is great. So now I'm gonna bring my ingredients over. You're gonna throw all the liquids in this pan. Put salt, the milk. What kind of milk is that? Just regular milk? Whole, whole milk. milk? Whole milk. Yeah. Okay. But if you are, if you can't take whole milk, you, I, I feel it would work as well with okay. other types of milk. So like almond milk. Right? Yeah. And then the oil. And last but not least, the water. Everything together. And the secret here is to warm this up. Once you warm it up, once it starts boiling, you take it out and we're gonna mix it with the powder, okay? I just like to mix it a little bit just to make sure the salt is yeah. mixed in. So, yeah, please my feel free to use part. me as your sous chef because I love. You're sorry. my assistant. Assistant, I love it. So, you get a big bowl like this, and we're gonna put the powder, the yucca flour. flour. 
And then the next thing that's gonna go in, blend of oil, milk, water, and salt. As soon as it starts boiling, we can take it out. So now you just throw this inside. You mix it with the spoon. So it's gonna start creating like crumbles. You see like oh, wow. it's what's like wet, curling. it's like in the smell, isn't it yeah. so oh good? Oh my God. So, so next you pour the on eggs. the eggs. Okay. I would imagine this being so much harder. It's actually not yeah. that hard, so you guys can definitely do this at home. For sure, so easy. It was so funny, I was telling TJ, I said, I'm really excited about filming some of the things that I like to cook. Uh -huh. And he says, oh yeah, I'm excited for you. And I said, yeah, but I'm like really worried that I don't feel like I cook good enough. Oh. And I don't know if my food tastes good. He's like, well, don't worry, babe, they can't taste the food. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the next step, we're putting in the cheese, yes. which is the most important part. How do you say cheese in Brazilian? Queijo. Sorry, Queijo. I said Brazilian, but it's Portuguese. Portuguese. Brazilian Portuguese. <laughs> so it's uh, uh, cheese in Portuguese is queijo. Can you speak with me? Queijo. <laughs> queijo. <laughs> okay, so now you're gonna have to get your hands dirty, I but I love this part. part. Alright. Oh wow, this consistency is amazing. Oh my gosh, look who's making the best cheese bread dough. <laughs> I'm actually learning from him. <laughs> Jonathan, queijo we're bread. killing it. It looks so good. Pound, pound to queijo, pound to queijo. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna massage it. I recommend for you to massage it for like five minutes, just to make sure the dough is like ready. So now the spoon that you were using, you can take it back to help you create the little balls. Next step, you have your dough ready to go and then you're gonna make the little balls, okay? So you can choose the size that you want. I like to go like medium size. For the pan, you don't have to put oil or butter, nothing. You can just put a paper and throw it on top so it won't stick. Oh wow, it really Because it already has like oil. So you see like easy, you have a little ball. A little ball. <laughs> Cheese ball. <laughs> Beautiful, wow, look at that. Please help me. There's a lot of dough here. I know my kids are gonna love this. Yeah, for sure. We, I think the consistency is perfect, actually. It's rolling really nice. I'm just, I'm just picky, I'm scared. Because we put three eggs, because his eggs were smaller. My so. eggs are small? What are you trying to say? You don't know my eggs? You do have small eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Hate to break it to you, you yeah. do. So one important thing, try to create the balls kind of the same size so that they all cook evenly at the same time. Yeah. Easy, so we have enough dough to make like, I don't know, I would say like 32 more. So we just throw them in the freezer. Okay. <laughs> this is just the best picture ever. Like the two of us rolling cheese bread together. <laughs> Love it. Okay. So, not to get you guys confused, once you roll them, when the dough is fresh, you can put it straight in the oven. But you can also freeze it uh, so you can have it another day, the next day or the following week. So, wow, those look beautiful. And we're gonna just pop these in the oven. You said 300 degrees, right? 350. 350. All right, perfect. We're at 350. We are preheated. And then you just put it in the oven. It's gonna take about 20 minutes, but I like. Since each oven is different, right. I always keep an eye on it after like 15 minutes mm -hmm. to make sure it doesn't cook too much because the more you cook it, the harder the shelf is going to be, like the outside of it is going to be. I just like it when it's lightly like toasted. Yeah, and then when you have that gooey bite, you yeah, kind of take exactly. it and feel like it's Yeah, the cold. cheesy, it's yeah. <laughs> Your experience yeah, you with know. cheese bread. So <laughs> put this in the oven. No, I cannot wait. And then again, you recommend using the middle rack, right? The middle rack versus the top, so they'll get two. Yeah, toasted. exactly. So then we wait. While we wait, we can dance. Dance and drink guarana. <laughs> la 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 la. Guarana, guarana. <laughs> Woo! We're gonna do a dancing show too. Do you guys want it? Oh, this is a rainbow too. I love yeah. it. I'm <laughs> like the rainbow girl. I love it. <laughs> I'm here. Oh. Well, we love a rainbow here, so that's perfect. Yes. <laughs> when I'm home and I go to the kitchen to make something, it's like a therapy for me. Oh, it's I totally love a therapy. It. You're not yeah. checking your phone, you have to pay attention, yeah. make sure you're not burning something. Yeah. Thank you for joining me in the kitchen. Thank you for having me. It's an honor. <laughs> okay, so we're ready to take them out, right? Yes. Okay. Please take it out. I'm nervous. 
Oh, they look oh so they look good. Perfect. Wow. I'm such a pro. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> wow, these look amazing. I'm so excited. So, oh wait, let me see if it burned in the bottom. Oh, no, wow, that's not. perfection. It's a perfect fondue queijo. That's... You want to try? I like it more. It might burn your mouth. My I'm mouth. used to it. Okay, cheers. <laughs> Mm. Mm. So good. I'm so happy with that <laughs> You guys need to make this at home. It's the best. Wow, these are so, so good. Yay. Two thumbs up. <laughs> okay, so we are done. Here's our yummy cheese bread. Did I pass the test? It's incredible. Wow. Thank you so <laughs> Would much. Would you think you, you make this at home? Definitely. This is like such a great addition to any meal and you just right? have that on the table and it's so easy so easy people are going to come over and be like wow how do you even make this That's right so cool. thank you so much guys for tuning in to watch us make sure you subscribe to the channel like the video and comment on your feedback let us let him know <laughs> let what know. he should make uh what other recipes he should make so let us know it all yeah, come we... back okay subscribe okay Don't do forget. not forget to subscribe <laughs>